Hello everybody. This week's camera, or camera system as they prefer, is the Hasselblad 500C. It was introduced in 1957 and it ran to 1970. Its successor, the 500CM, the only real difference was it had inter interchangeable uh, focusing screens and it introduced uh, the automatic magazine so you didn't have a, a window where you had to use the, the uh, numbers on the 120 film. It literally has interchangeable everything. The uh, viewfinder, there are prisms. I like kind of like the waist level finder. Um, film backs, there's the uh, standard A12. Uh, the A is the automatic, the later version. Um, you shoots uh, six centimeter by six centimeter uh, square images. There's a six by four point five that'll get you sixteen images per roll. There's two twenty Polaroid backs, cut film backs, just an amazing array of things you can do with film. On these, they call them the System V from this one forward. You can also get digital backs for this. Um, the crank is interchangeable. There's just one that's a knob, a knob with a built-in meter, and then this rapid winding crank. Um, I got this nice Zeiss 50 millimeter Distagon. This is a later one. It's F4. The earliest ones were F5.6. So got pretty lucky there. I got lucky overall on this system. I bought it from a guy who used them professionally and he was happy that it found a new home with someone who was really in love with the camera. Uh, he said it's been to the Arctic Circle, most of Europe, I think he said uh, Africa and Asia. So this camera's been all over the place. Uh, it uses the Compure shutter in the lens. Each lens has it. There's a focal plane shutter here that uh, is part of what makes it so modular. You can swap out magazines uh, while you're going. It has these dark slides to help you do that. Um, there are interlocks everywhere in this thing. Uh, the shutter's got to be cocked to take the lens off. Um, the slide's got to be in it to take the magazine out. The slide's got to be out or it won't shoot. So it's complicated but it makes sense. There's a reason for everything. Um, it use, uses the uh, exposure value system. It'll lock the aperture and the shutter together. So you measure the EV and then any of the settings um, will um, be properly exposed, but you know you can play with it, go to a slower shutter speed, and a uh, faster or a smaller aperture. Um, using this lever right here, you decouple them to set the EV value. That's about it. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but just as an introduction, that's pretty much it. So I'll run another roll through this, and I'll see you then.